it's Sunday morning. How are you doing? How are you? How's everything with you? How's your family? How's your business? How's your ministry? Please don't let anybody deceive you that you, they are the only one in the ministry. The Lord Jesus Christ called us into his ministry. Okay? Ministry of Reconciliation, he called it. Whereby we followers of Christ will be calling other people into the kingdom of God. You know, sometimes you may not need to talk to people. Your character, the way you carry yourself, that is why we need to work on our character. I remember that woman, what's her name? I think Naomi. Naomi didn't preach to Ruth. But the character of Naomi shows that she was a disciplined and God-fearing woman. And by the time Ruth lived with her, saw everything about her, Ruth do not want to be separated from her. Ruth said, your God shall be my God. Where you are laid, I will be laid, and your people shall be my people. So when we walk on our crackers with the help of the Holy Spirit, people see us, they see Christ in us. Then we become the salt of the world and the light of the world. Hello, how are you? We give God all the glory. Yes, Ben, how are you? I greet you. Did you see me? Hello, hello, hello. Efosa, how are you doing? Contrivis, hello. Hi, how are you doing? Happy New Year to you again. <laughs> We're still celebrating the New Year. May the New Year be good. Yes, the word of God says all things pass away, all things become new. The Lord says he will do a new thing in our life. Yes, everybody have different things they ask God for. Yes, as we are praying, we should also begin to work towards that that the Lord has called us to do. Yes, this morning I want to talk about Pastor Chris fantasies. It may be the way I see it. Maybe the way you see it is quite different. And let me say this. I didn't say anybody shouldn't celebrate their birthday. I never said that. But we should all be discreet and we should be... Uh, I mean, there's some things I saw that I think um, maybe it's rather too much as a child of God. There are more important things than to sit down like Herod, like than to sit down like Nebuchadnezzar and begin to receive all glory, glory, glory. Of course, it's good. Uh, when somebody says, oh, wow, you do a wonderful thing, you know, yeah. But we need to be very careful. You know why I, I mean, anyway, that is mine, not you. Why on my birthday, last my birthday, I, I turn off the reminder from the Facebook. Because, you know, uh, people that love you, they will say some things that you, if you are not very careful, you will offend God. You understand? You know, and you need to control. You need to control the narrative. If you, are, if you get carried away, if you get carried away, it's mostly those people, seemingly those people that love you, that usually puts many people in trouble. They will give you certain accolades 
that uh -uh, it's like sharing glory with God. They will tell you, if not because of you, if not because of you, but the word of God made us to understand that not unto us, it is not unto us, but unto God be the glory, honor, or adoration. Somebody was saying that, ah, if not because of you, uh, maybe they have, they will have forgotten Ruth. I say, come, if I refuse to leave my house that day, God will use another person. Yes, that is why when Elijah was saying something, God said, I have a backup. I have a backup, 7,000 people back up. Can you imagine? <laughs> so don't say if not because of me. Yeah, just say, you know. So anyway, let's go into it. This is, you know, if these people celebrate their birthday, it's like they want the whole world to do it with them. But if you and I celebrate our birthday, most times they don't even know. You understand? It's only those that are, you know, close allies that they inform them. But you in the mem you know, you in the crowd, they don't even know. But when they are doing their birthday, they want everybody to leave their house. Even they want you to contribute money to buy to buy them a new car or a new house. If their family celebrates their birthday, it's okay. It's their family. All right? So much to us. We love you. Yes, this is members of his family, the mother and sisters and extended family. So if it means so much to them, it is okay. It is normal, okay? It is okay. They are members of his family, so they should celebrate him, all right? They should sit down and they should sing to him because he's their brother. Is there I love you so much, Pastor. Pastor, thank you for your love. Thank you for loving me especially, loving me and my family, my husband, my children. Thank you so much, Pastor. Thank you for changing lives, billions of lives all over the world. Thank you for transforming nations, the continents of this world. Thank you. I, I believe that the whole world is being preserved because of your words, the anointing of God's spirit that, you know, you constantly release to our world. Thank you for saving our entire generation. You see now that she has talked too much. You see what I'm saying? That they will make you to share the glory of God. Say, uh, thank you for saving the entire generation. It's Jesus Christ that saved me, 
not Chris Oyaki Lume. So what are you talking about? Do you now, I hope you now understand what I'm saying. You know, people need to be guided. They need to be very careful. He said, uh, Chris word preserve the world. No, it's not Chris word that preserve the world. It is God himself who is preserving the world for himself. If God didn't preserve the world, I will not be here today. Chris will not be here today. You know this, thank you, Covenant Worship. Thank you for having the hear of the Spirit. You know, many people will just hear that and they don't even see anything wrong in what the so-called pastor have said. And she called herself a pastor. I thought you know the mind of God. I thought you know the word of God. I thought you know the power of God. So, just because they are siblings, just because this woman is a sister to uh, Chris Oyakilome, Chris made her to be a pastor. But you that you are qualified, they will not make you a pastor in their, in their churches. You understand? So that is why this woman that is not grounded in the word of God can be saying some things. I hope, I hope you know where I am coming from now. You know, there are some things we need to limit. We need to limit. Because when we begin to, I mean, you know, forgetting ourselves, that was the problem of Herod. The word of God says in the book of Acts, Acts um, is it 12, that Herod took the glory of God and the angels eat him up. So we should, you know, these are the things that uh, Nebuchadnezzar and all of them, they want to sit down and, yeah, it's, it's good you influence your people, you influence people. But if truly we are in the Lord, some things do not matter. You understand? There, there is a bigger picture. I believe that the whole world is being preserved because of your words, the anointing of God's spirit that, you know, you constantly released to our world thank you for saving our entire generation pastor thank you I love he saved your entire generation i beg your pardon i beg your pardon i'm sure some people in are in your family that they are not yet saved they may just be following him because they are getting money from him. So he has not even finished saving his family. You are talking entire generation. What entire generation? Love you so much. I love you deeply. Enjoy your day. Of course. I love you. Love him. He's taking care of your family, your husband, your children. You must love him. You see the grand entrance, the grand of, and every year I saw a lot of videos, a lot of pictures, whereby every year um, they fantasize, you know, about different things. Sometimes uh, Reverend Chris may wear pilot clothes or uh, this kind of um those who are going to space, you understand? Space, they will, they will, they will arrange this kind of spaceship uh, uniform. Okay, so this is 
the one maybe for this year the grand entrance yes and also his birthday has become tradition and culture it has become tradition and culture people go to church in order to listen to the word of god but uh, now they now go to church in order to particularly <coughs> for celebration of his birthday whereas when they do their own birthday Nobody even wished them happy birthday from the from the pastorate. Okay, it's only talking. Oh, okay. Only talking. A lot of people will be singing the little album. I hope you are well paid. Yes, look at uh, Reverend the Reverend Chris and his brothers in a, in a spaceship uniform. Look at uh, Benny here. Can you imagine? Look at see affluence, see money all around them. Okay, yeah, look at them. Celebrating birthday, see, you can imagine they are going to the stars or to the moon. Yeah, they are going to the stars or to the moon. So they are they 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 create lot of fantasies, and Reverend Chris, of course, enjoying it. Sometimes, okay, look at another time. See what he carry on his head. <clears throat> Excuse me. See what he carry on his head, himself and his uh, his his, uh, his friends. See him, okay. Yeah. Yeah, you celebrate your birthday within your family where you are born. Okay? People, there is a purpose for the church. There's purpose for the church. People go to church not to go, you know, not to come and celebrate your birthday. You are not the focus on people when they, yeah, look at their they are, what do you call it? They are setting for dinner and all that. Look at, you know, uh, some people. Yeah, some people, they dress like sailor. They dress like sailor. It's always big party. Okay, this is a three one. This is one, one side, another one up. The grand entrance and also another one there. So yes, I'm very well, Mary. Thank you very much. How are you doing? Yeah. 
Celebrating Pastor Christ. Celebrating Pastor Christ. Bishop, say hello.
You understand? Covenant worship. You are bad. You are. <laughs> ah, yeah. You understand? Okay. Do you see that? You understand? So they they are really digging. Pastors, I thought we should be moving forward. I thought we should be moving forward. But they are, you know, they, they are just remembering the, the garlics and the onions of Egypt. So they're only changing the words, but the music, you know, we understand now what's going on. Oh my goodness. <laughs> It's been wonderful. Um, during the visit, he spent some time with us. We had a chance to, to, to show what we were doing. Okay, this is another one. Eh, Covenant Worship said if they can't go to the club, they can bring the club to the church. Just an opportunity to quench their lustful taste. Hey, my goodness. <laughs> okay, this person is Archbishop Idaosa's son. And he said something here that I want you to listen to. He said Chris uh, visited them and asked them of their projects. And they told him that the project will cost one billion, one billion naira. And he was expecting Chris to say, okay, let me pray over it. But Chris didn't say that. He just said, don't worry, I'll give it to you. He said... Say, ah, he thought maybe pastor would say, let's pray over it. So he began to taunt. We that we pray over something before we go into it. Okay? And because the word of God says in, uh, in Proverbs 3, 5 to 6, says, commit your ways into the Lord's hand and he will direct it. That is the prayer. That's the purpose but okay you that you pray after prayer what next is 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 very bad for me doing he asked what's bad. going on what are you guys doing and we shared and then he said okay what's your what are your projects and uh, we brought out our projects we said okay this is our faculty of this faculty of that and we're doing a faculty of engineering and he said okay what's that one about and we, we shared that vision with him so that's the biggest one you have? I said, that's the biggest one we have. I said, okay, what's it going to cost? I said, um, about a billion naira. Thinking, okay, so oh, that's nice. Let's pray. We didn't say let's pray. I said, okay, well, that's wonderful. Well, here's, I'll give you the money for it. And we were just all, we were, we were in shock. But, um, you know, like you said, action. Um, many times prayer is very good. We always pray. But after, after the amen, what happens? <laughs> and so pastor didn't just pray. After okay, I'll, I'll make it happen. And so... After the amen, what happens? These people, these church people, they don't believe in what you believe in. They don't believe in what they are telling you. He said, after the amen, what happens? He said he was 
expecting Chris to say, let's pray, but he didn't say, you know, he just said, I'll give it to you. Action. So, so he's not saying, okay, you pray. After the amen, what happened? So the belittling people's faith. And that is what I had, uh, I think, Antia Dunis said in one of our videos this morning. You know, let me just quickly. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, there she is. Okay, come and talk. Why did I say so? The leech, the bondage on their neck is choking them, but they cannot talk because it is forbidden for them to complain. Christians are not to complain. Christians are not to voice out their feelings. Christians are not to even, I was, don't tell me it is well, it is actually well with me. Not because you say it. I don't like the it is well. The it is well means keep quiet the suffering in silence. That is the meaning of their it is well. I remember as a young widow then, I was in pain. I was in tears. I was in agony. And they want to me could be smiling like everything don't get me wrong your pastors live reality but they make you live illusion they live reality they, they live their lives to the fullest i have other videos i'm still going to bring out subscribe to my youtube in case i don't come they live reality the first reality. There is a video of Isaac Oyeleko that I posted. Many of some people didn't get that video. The first call, when Baba Oyeleko found out that Isaac was sick, the man never said, go and pray. The man never said, start fasting. The man never said, let me decree. And Isaac said that immediately the father called and had his voice. And they told him what was going on. These are the people that will tell you they are fathers of faith. Okay. I, um, yeah. I hope you heard that. I hope you heard that. These are the people that will tell you that they are fathers of faith. Mm -hmm. You understand? These are the people who are fathers of faith. Uh, uh, Isaac is son of Oyedepo. When he became sick, and the father called him and said, What is wrong with you? He said, So, so, so. He said, The father didn't say, Go, go and pray. But when you are sick, they will say, Be coming to church. They will tell you that you should be coming to church they will tell you where to go to but look at them they are enjoying shalama they are enjoying shalama shalama of uh, what do you call it in the 80s and you see their eyeglasses as it's bringing out light that is what they enjoy in those days Eh? Look at the fantasies they, they are living. Okay? That's what they, they, they are enjoying. But you, you cannot. Yo, it's hard to give it up for the man of God. Now everybody's say. You know. Hey, get up on your feet. And let's dance and we're both to be now. So walk to the feet tonight. When the feet are left to right. Feel the 
it's been us. wonderful. Um, during the visit, he spent some time with us. We had a chance to, to, to show what we were doing. He asked, what's going on? What are you guys doing? And we shared. And then he said, okay, what's your, what are your projects? And uh, we brought out our projects. We said, okay, this is our faculty of this, faculty of that. And we're doing a faculty of engineering. And he said, okay, what's that one about? And we, we shared that vision with him. He said, that's the biggest one you have? I said, that's the biggest one we have. He said, okay, what's it going to cost? I said, um, about a billion naira. Thinking, okay, he said, oh, that's nice. Let's pray. We didn't say, let's pray. He said, okay, well, that's wonderful. Well, here's, I'll give you the money for it. And we're just all, we were, we were in shock. But, um, you know, like you said, action. Um, many times, prayer is very good. We always And so, pastor didn't just pray. He said, okay, I'll, I'll make a thing. We've, we've been able to build the building. The building is almost... Hey, what's nice. Let's pray. We didn't say let's pray. It's <laughs> wonderful. Well, here's, I'll give you the money for it. And we're just oh. all... We're, we're, we're in shock. But, um, you know, like you said, action. Um, many times, prayer is very good. We always pray. But after, after the amen, what happens? <laughs> and so, pastor didn't just pray. He said, okay, I'll, I'll make it happen. And so, the impact has been tremendous because in, in the two and a half years since then that, that has happened, We've, we've been able to build the building. The building is almost, the building is finished actually. It's almost fin fully furnished. And <laughs> Thank you. 
Reverend Dr. Chris Oyakelome, BSG, DSC, DDD, SM101, I, Oracle number one, EJ, Ebel, Dr. Chris Oyakelome, God's General, a leader with vision, our president, our president, our President number one. <clears throat> I think I saw another one. There are lots of them. Yes, they they really spend money in. Yeah. Uh, let me show you another one. Uh, okay, I think I saw another one some somewhere. Where is it? Okay. Okay, this one is a little bit funny. Okay, look at this one. It's like they acting some kind of celebrating their president. Permission to carry on. At ease. My commander in chief, the doctor of divinity, the doctor of science, PhD, our father, our mentor, and life coach, the commander of commanders. We salute you, sir. Our father, we thank you for raising us today as generals in every city. I think that is that is enough. <laughs> I think that is enough. <laughs> I think we have already gotten all that we need to get. That is enough. Do we need all that? I don't know. Who are we competing with? And the people who are even doing it, I, I don't know. It's like they don't have it's their purpose on earth. Yes, yeah, Sister Tolu is saying, how can all this been seen as anything other than yeah worship of man this is pure idolatry whatever for we it's only god we will worship 
for we every day of our lives we continue to give our allegiance to god not to man because we have a purpose to pursue on earth our eyes are fixed on him not on any man maybe i didn't see the way you see it maybe i'm just overbearing your thoughts in the comments it's like even the internet is not very friendly tonight yeah let me know in the comments uh, all this when their birthday is coming they will they will dress like sailor they will dress like uh, you know like those going to the moon or those going to the stars or going under the sea or you, you, you understand or sitting down to play shalama of the 80s and their eyeglasses will be bringing lights you know this uh, christmas light and it's like at that time at that moment they are not thinking of jesus so <laughs> at that moment they are not thinking of jesus i'm telling you as human being what they will be thinking about is when in those days when they were bad because they have already set the motion they have already set motion. they are playing you know those old oldies for them they will be thinking of those girls they are dating those men they are dating and you, you, you understand? They will be thinking all that. Thank you, thinking mind. I appreciate you. That is all that will fill their mind in that place. We are the word of God is saying that we must now descend to the pattern of the world. But we should change our mind, rebrand our mind. Okay, so what generation are they changing? What generation are they changing? Eh? Amelia said, wonders shall never end. You know, that's when I saw it, that's the, the painful point. And those, those young, young people, they don't even know. They continue following them. They are not pointing these people. To, to God and to Jesus Christ. They are pointing men to themselves. That is why when they do better, they, these people, they lost themselves with reckless abandon. People will be, they will be, they will be dropping uh, singles on them. Dropping singles on them. Singing, singing, singing and, and all that. And look at Benny Benny too. He sat there with his spaceship costume and his glasses was just beaming. And they were just enjoying all those. And Pastor Chris too was, you know, smiling and no wonder, no wonder he's, he's looking for, for uh, what do you call it? Is is looking for uh, 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 witches up and down. In chapter nine of my book, I have a, a, a you know I yeah I wrote something about Chris, Reverend Doctor Chris Oyakilome, the story of an old and a young prophet. Old prophet and a young prophet. I hope you have read that story before. We had the old prophet convinced the young prophet. This uh, another way, and unfortunately. So my comment there is that don't ever wrestle with it. You both get dirty.
but the pig will enjoy it, of course, because uh, 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 Fatai knew why he invited Chris to Squan. So after Chris left, Fatai was saying that, yeah, I'm going to use him to divide Christian community. That was what he said that we heard from him. That was what he said, and we heard from him, okay? That was what he said, and we heard from him. It's, it's, it's really sad. It's really sad. Because there are always, <clears throat> there are always, you know, Oh, their mind is you know, not focusing. Their mind is always in their riches. Their mind is always in their riches. What they have and what they don't have. Okay? I'm just trying to look for a particular... <laughs> a particular anyway, maybe another time when I'm going to talk about Chris. Is Chris visiting TB Joshua? Maybe I'll read that. Thank you very much. We are almost eating an hour. Thank you, mind. I appreciate you. Everyone on the platform. Amelia, let's talk about Jesus. Sister Lulu, thank you. Maria, shalom, shalom, shalom. KBK, thank you very much. Convenanted worship. <laughs> You are the one that quickly got that Shalama part. <laughs> oh my goodness. Eo, do the silly. Marie, thank you very much. Thank you, everyone. I really appreciate you. Thank you, Gordon. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Pen Anan, Rema, thank you very much. Thank you, Efosa. Contrivis, thank you very much. I appreciate all of you. Yes, thank you, thank you. God bless you. Till we see again in the morning. Yeah, in the morning. Uh, you know, Sunday morning we usually do uh, word, spirit, and prayers. So in the morning we're going to talk about doctrine of one saved, always saved. Let's, let's all, not what I have in mind or my own understanding. So let us all come together and, and, and uh, reason together. We need to look into the word of God, what the word of God says. It's once saved, always saved. You understand? Yes, Jesus said those he has given unto him, no one can pluck them from his hand. It's once saved always saved. We see in the morning. May the Lord bless and keep you. May his face continue to shine upon you. For fear of the Lord and for the glory of his majesty the lofty looks of men shall be humbled. The haughtiness of men bow down. And the Lord alone shall be exalted.